This video was developed as a training tool using footage captured in commercial settings when conditions that impact mobility and locomotion were observed. Much of the footage was shot spontaneously when observed, and as a result, quality varies. This video is intended to serve as a training tool for teaching mobility scoring. This video will not instruct viewers on how to establish benchmarks and recommend pass-fail criteria for mobility scoring at a facility. However, mobility scoring can be incorporated as one part of a company's or facility's overall animal welfare program. Monitoring cattle mobility and locomotion can be helpful at feedlots and meat packing plants in assessing the health and well-being of fed animals. Monitoring can also help identify the root cause of any issues that may be hindering mobility and locomotion. A scoring system has been developed to enable trained evaluators to score the mobility of fed cattle in relation to animal well-being outcomes in research facilities, feed yards, and packing plants. There are four categories of mobility. One, an animal scored as a number one is normal. These cattle walk easily with no apparent lameness or change in gait. Two, an animal is scored as a number two when it exhibits minor stiffness shortness of stride. Or a slight limp, but keeps up with normal cattle walking as a group. Three. An animal is scored as a number three when it exhibits obvious stiffness. Difficulty taking steps. An obvious limp or obvious discomfort and lags behind normal cattle walking as a group. Four. An animal is scored as a number four when it is extremely reluctant to move, even when encouraged by a handler. A number four has sometimes been described as statue-like because movement clearly causes discomfort, causing some animals to hold still. If an animal is unable to rise from a recumbent position, it is often called a downer. These animals are humanely euthanized and condemned. These cattle are immobile and do not receive a mobility score one through four, but they are included in the total head count. The role of mobility score evaluators is to observe animals and report scores. When observing animals, the auditor should remain blind to outside factors and objectively score the cattle based upon visual observations. Reporting of outside factors such as weather, breed, or sex on the data capture form may be useful in analyzing data at a later date. To ensure safety, evaluators should be respectful to facility employees, follow their directions, and avoid interrupting operation. In the event of problems, conflict, or the observation of abuse or illegal activity, defer to the supervisor, primary facility contact, or sponsor of the evaluation. Confidentiality of mobility scores and any confidential information regarding the scoring or facilities where animals are scored should be maintained at all times. When scoring cattle, the ideal location is one that allows the best view of the animals, including feet and legs. The location of the evaluator should not cause animals to balk. It also should not disrupt normal activities of feed yard or packing plant personnel. In a plant setting, it is best to arrive in advance in order to become familiar with the animal movement and handling procedures in the specific plant before scoring. In a feed yard, 
It may be necessary to visit with the cowboys or other cattle handlers to discuss how animals will move in selected scoring locations. Scoring locations may include where animals exit a pin scale, or a drover's alley behind feeding pens, or in the working area. In packing plants, cattle may be scored in a number of areas, including coming off of a scale, and entering or exiting a pen. Scoring may be done from a catwalk, but ideally cattle directly below the catwalk should not be evaluated. The view should be at an angle so the entire side profile of an animal can be seen. The location where the scoring is done should be noted on the score sheet. It may be possible in some plants to score the same lot of cattle after they are unloaded and then later as they exit pens. Comparing these two scores may help assess the impact that standing on a hard surface like concrete has on the cattle. In both feed yards and plants, cattle should be scored as they are moving at a walk or trot and not in a dense mob if possible. At the evaluation location, Select a defined bubble or window of space where cattle will be viewed and scored as they move through that defined space. This space should allow animals to move freely and unencumbered, so they may be properly assessed by the scorer. Animals should not be scored in a location where they are simply standing or where they are moving onto an unfamiliar surface. Evaluators should not follow animals downstream to assign or change scores. Scores should not be changed for any individual animal once assigned. These guidelines are meant to prevent excessive second guessing, to evaluate all animals equally, and to ensure that animals are adequately accounted for and individual animals are not scored twice. Previous studies have demonstrated that mobility scores greater than one occur infrequently in most groups of cattle. Evaluators can easily tally cattle mobility scores by counting the number of cattle scoring two, three, and four. The combined three numbers can be subtracted from the total number of cattle observed. This will indicate the number of cattle in a group with a normal score of one. If no animals are observed in a category, a zero should be written. The total number of animals observed should not be estimated, but obtained from facility records, either before or after scoring is completed. Monitoring mobility and feedback is an excellent means of assessing the health and well-being of the cattle in your facility. To use mobility scoring most effectively, facilities may wish to set procedures and frequencies for regular monitoring. By doing so, a plant may find a deviation and can seek to identify the root cause. There currently are no standards for the percentage of animals that may display mobility or locomotion limitations because sufficient baseline data have not been collected widely. For more information, visit www.animalhandling.org.